Microsoft Excel is a powerhouse when it comes to stage management paperwork. So I'm gonna share with you five Excel tricks you can start using right now in five clicks or less. My name is Kent and this is your half hour call. Attention cast and crew, this is your half hour call. Half hour to the top of the show, half hour. What is up my friends and welcome back to Half Hour Call. Excel can be a really intimidating program to use, especially if you've only seen it used by accountants and business people to keep track of money and taxes and data, but it's actually an incredibly versatile tool. Today we are breaking down my favorite tricks that make Excel a great choice for more stage management paperwork than you might think. But if this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Kent and you are watching Half Hour Call where we're dedicated to shining the spotlight on technical theater. So if you want how-to videos, interviews with industry leaders, and insider theater updates, make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you never miss another video. A quick disclaimer, I am using Excel on a PC. I'd be shocked if these tricks didn't work on Google Sheets or on Excel for Mac, but I have not actually tested them. If anyone has a Mac or prefers Google Sheets, please let me know if these tricks still work down in the comments. But for now, let's dive straight in. Trick number one is the first thing I do every time I open Excel. Click view, then page layout. This allows you to see exactly how your document fits on the page and eliminates so many nasty surprises when trying to print anything out or print to PDF. Trick number two is to take advantage of sheets. Sheets are the tabs at the bottom of Excel. You can hold multiple different versions of a document in the same Excel file. I use this to organize reports and daily calls, run sheets separated by department, and for line schedules for theme parks. You can copy a sheet by holding control and clicking and dragging the tab. You can rename and even color code the sheets to keep everything nice, neat, and organized. Trick number three is honestly a game changer, and it comes in two parts, wrapping text and making new lines within a cell. First, select whatever cell or cells you're trying to fill with text, then hit the wrap text button. Finally, whenever you want a new line, simply hold the alt key and hit enter and boom, you can make a new line within a cell. This is the one thing I learned that was so easy, but nobody had told me about. And honestly, it opened up so many options in making paperwork in Excel. Trick number four is a bit more adventurous and can, depending on how you want to use it, take more than five clicks, sue me. But conditional formatting can be super helpful. I use it in entrance exit breakdowns to automatically flag costume changes that are less than two minutes. I've used it to track attendance for bonuses at theme parks, and I've used it to make sure I'm fairly scheduling shifts and performances for long runs with multiple casts. You can use the default rules very simply and easily, or play around with custom rules to make Excel work for you. Trick number five guarantees that your document prints perfectly every single time, and that is hitting the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Okay, so maybe it doesn't actually change your print settings in Excel, but it helps me out and I would appreciate it a lot. The final trick is for when your document is finished and you want a physical copy. Using the print selection tool is a lifesaver. If you've ever tried to print an entrance exit breakdown or any other large spreadsheet, you know it can be a real challenge. With print selection, you can simply highlight the portion of the spreadsheet you want to print and only print that. A special bonus tip for getting this far is repeating rows or columns on each page to use as headings. Click page layout, page setup, sheet options, and then use the print titles selection to select how many rows and columns you want repeated on each page. If your spreadsheet is going to span multiple pages, this is an absolute must. What are your favorite Excel tips? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you have a Mac or use Google Sheets, let me know if you can still use all of these life hacks. Thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. My name is Kent, and this has been your Half Hour Call. Find the perfect gift for the stage manager in your life at the Half Hour Call store. Now with free shipping on all domestic orders. New products added frequently. Visit KentJamesCollins.com store to shop now.